Almost three hours passed before my thoughts stopped their relay race and my fingers relaxed from my fist. I was wiggling my toes now beneath my thin blanket. Siri squatted by my bed, whispering in my ear. I was feeling a little more at ease, but I wasn't feeling easy enough to begin giggling with her. Where were you? I asked Siri. Where were you when the alarms went off? She covered her ears with her slim fingers and painted natural fingernails. You know I don't like loud noises and screaming, Siri said. So what did you do? I asked her. I hid in the cubicle, she said. How long before you got caught? I asked her. I didn't get caught, she said, but I saw who put the fork in Shasha's bed, she added, now pressing her lips against my ear. Who else saw? I asked swiftly. No one. There was only me watching. Good job, Siri, I told her. Can I put a braid in your hair? Siri asked me. I nodded yes. As she began to stroke my hair like Mama did when she was making sure not to miss even one strand, I felt myself slipping finally into sleep. As I fell, one last thought snuck into my mind, even though I had worked hard to wipe them all away. The guards searched through all our stuff and didn't put anything back the way we had it. They wanted us to know that nothing really belonged to us. They wanted us to know they could take and touch anything that we thought was ours, even our bodies.